I found this table in a thrift store, and it had a glass top on it when I got it. The glass was in pretty bad shape, so I decided to make a wood top for it, and this is how I did it. I started with a piece of birch plywood and cut it out to the size I needed, but I subtracted a sixteenth of an inch from each measurement to leave room for the edge banding, which I'm going to put on here. And this is iron-on edge banding. It's birch to match the plywood. And the purpose of the edge banding is to hide the plies of the plywood so that it looks more like a piece of solid wood. So you just cut it to the uh, length you need with a little bit of extra on each side. And you'll trim that off later. And just get it in place and get a hot iron and apply pressure. And it doesn't take that long. It's pretty straightforward. Um, and if you happen to get it on crooked or make some kind of mistake, you can heat it up again and it'll melt the glue and you can take it off and then try again. And here I'm just trimming off the excess, the overhang on the edge with an X-Acto knife. And in my experience, the trick to cutting veneer is to first get a sharp knife and then don't try to cut through the entire thickness at once. Make many light passes until you work your way through it and then it'll just fall off. And on the long edge, you can do it with the knife also. And they also make tools for this, I think, that you can buy to shave this off. But I also like to use a plane as I'm doing here. This works really well uh, and it's kind of fun. And I like to make sure to tilt the plane a little bit, angle it a little bit away from the plywood so you don't end up grabbing the plywood and tearing out the grain because the veneer is really thin on the top of the plywood. And then just sand it, uh, sand the corners so they're not so sharp. And this is very light sanding. I found this birch plywood to be a little difficult to stain. It tends to be kind of blotchy, which is true of any birch in general, but especially this plywood. So I'm applying some shellac first as a seal coat to just to prevent uh, too much stain from being absorbed and getting lots of blotches. And I'm going to use gel stain, which will further reduce blotchiness because it's so thick. Uh, the wood doesn't absorb it like it would uh, an oil a regular liquid oil stain. So after I applied the shellac and let it dry, just lightly sanded with 320 grit. And then here I'm applying the stain. And this is General Finishes Gel Stain. And the color is, I think, Antique Walnut. And I'm using a foam brush and swipe it on. And you have to be careful if you're working in a really warm dry environment, it might dry really quickly. So just keep an eye on that because it'll get sticky and hard to get off. And here an earthworm falls onto the plywood. That was unexpected. And here's the top with the stain dry. And now I'm going to add this lacquer toner to it. This is walnut colored lacquer. And the stain looks okay, but it's kind of pale and still a little blotchy, so this lacquer toner will help to deepen the color and even it out and just make it overall look nicer, in my opinion. And I just put this on really light and work your way up to the color you want. Don't try to put it all on at once and get it all dark at once. And here it is with a toner, and this is the bottom without the toner and just the stain. And you can see the difference in the color. The bottom is a lot paler than the top. After the toner dried, I applied a top coat of clear satin lacquer, and this is by Deft, D-E-F-T. Works well. And it's the aerosol cans are good for small projects like this. And after the lacquer is dried, it's sometimes a little rough to the touch and it could use some buffing. So there's a few ways to do that. Here I'm using a piece of a brown paper bag. Rip a piece off, fold it up, and lightly go over it. And that works really well most of the time. 
Or another way is here I'm using 4 aught steel wool and wax. And again, just going over it lightly, and that also works well. And here's the finished product. Thanks for watching.